So the Inspire implant is a hypoglossal nerve neurostimulator. So basically what that means is it's an implant that goes into your body and it senses you breathing and stimulates the nerve that moves your tongue to pull your tongue forward and open up the back of your throat. So the Inspire implant is designed for patients who cannot tolerate CPAP. So what we know is about two thirds of patients who get diagnosed with sleep apnea and are prescribed a CPAP will not use it because they cannot tolerate it. And so um, the Inspire implant has the best success rate of the alternatives that we have to CPAP. The patients interested in the Inspire implant, first they have to have a clinic consult to make sure that they are eligible to move forward. And so that has to do with their weight, their body mass index, and then certain parameters on their sleep study. So if we meet and we decide that they can move forward, then the next step is called a sleep endoscopy, which is a minor procedure where they get a little anesthesia to get them snoring. And I look in their throat with a camera to see if their tongue is falling back, which the majority of patients with sleep apnea, that is the issue. So if I see that, then I know that they will qualify for the implant. And at that point, we schedule them for the actual implant. So on the day of surgery with the implant, it takes about an hour to an hour and a half to place the implant. Um, the incision discomfort is minimal. I don't get a lot of complaints on that. The big limitation in recovery is arm movement because part of the implant goes on the chest. And so if people are golfers, fishers, that kind of thing, they have to refrain from that for four weeks while everything heals up, and then they can get back to normal after that.